He didn't put up much of a fight, did he? I've fought fiercer colds. Ah, well, this last prisoner's a bit of a puzzle. He's called Bregg, and he's a jittery little wretch, suspected of supplying forged documents to Republic agents. Strangely enough, he maintains his innocence, despite being severely tortured. Nebaga imana, naki naya, bila maknam unya kamna lebek. Come on, who would go to all the trouble of setting you up? Nibi katnaka mak, nebaga imana, naki naya, bila maknam unya kamna lebek. Ah, he's never wavered from that line, and the evidence is circumstantial. I suppose it's actually possible he didn't do it. So, what do you decide? I don't care if he's innocent or not. Torture him enough and he'll confess. <laughs> Shut up, you fidgety fool. The decision's been made. Ah, <sighs> well that's that. You're an interesting one, kid. I can see why people are keeping tabs on you. Head back to Overseer Tremel. See what he thinks of your choices. Is this everything? Everything Lord Renning was able to obtain, yes. Then run back to your master in the beast pens, before I cut you in half. Sorry to make you wait, Acolyte. These interruptions are incredibly annoying. On to the business at hand, your test in the jails. First, the assassin, Solentz. She attempted to kill an Imperial spy, but was unaware of her client's affiliation. You assigned her to Imperial Intelligence. I commend you, that was excellent thinking. Never waste a potential resource. I just figured, let the Imperials deal with her insolence. Whatever the reasoning, the choice was exactly what Darth Barris would respect. Now, Devotech, the failed warrior, why grant his wish for a trial by combat? I did it out of respect for his service. He used to be a potent warrior. We don't have time to honor yesterday's accomplishments. Devotech was an utter waste of space. Once something is no longer useful, it should be eradicated. Remember that. Lastly, the forger you sent back for more torture even though he seemed innocent. A strong decision. Leave no stone unturned. And what if it turns out he truly is innocent? It's always best to know beyond any doubt. After all, what is one man's sanity or life versus the fate of the Empire? You're beginning to understand what it means to be Sith, but you're far from being able to impress Darth Barris. I'll try harder, Overseer. I promise. If you don't, you're doomed. Remember that. Because I forced you into the Academy ahead of schedule, Darth Barris will be predisposed to judging you severely. And by severely, I mean fatally. Now, we must hurry to your next trial. Every moment that passes, we risk discovery before we're ready. In the caverns of Mark Aragnos is the beast he left to guard his legacy. Go there, sit among the flames, and wait for the beast to come for you. I break beasts' necks in my sleep. Don't be rash. Defeating this creature will take your best effort. Return to the Valley of the Dark Lords and find the tomb of Marco Ragnos. I'll see you when the beast is slain. Good luck.
The Force is a weapon. I will show you how to wield it. Acolyte, I come with a message. Overseer Tremel can teach you the ways of the Sith, but not all of the skills. For that, there are specialists in the Academy. Overseer Tremel wishes you to meet them and learn what you can. The pure blood in your veins gives you a very attractive coloring. To even touch a pure blood woman, you must prove that the Sith runs strong through your muddied veins. A Sith woman only respects power. Go. Someday you may learn enough to impress me. If not, kill me. You will find the best trainers in the Academy's archive. You are expected there shortly. is a weapon. I will show you how to wield it. Show no mercy. Stand and account for yourself, Acolyte. Let's see what you're made of. I look at you, and I wonder, are you among the truly loyal, or do you hide treason in your heart? I am heir to a great Sith bloodline. How dare you even ask such a question of me? I do what the Emperor commands me to. Your special heritage does not place you above suspicion, nor should it. Intelligence reports indicate this valley shelters traitors. Acolytes who seek to destroy our Emperor's carefully built order and replace it with their own weak-minded heresies. They hide among the faithful and obedient. But make no mistake, they will destroy us all, given the chance. We've watched as the traitors scuttle about this valley and plot against us. We know their faces and their names. It is the Emperor's will that the sands of Korriban be slaked with the blood of these traitors. Prove your allegiance by executing them. It will be a great honor to serve you, my lord. And in serving me, you serve the Emperor. Remember that, as you exterminate those vermin in the valley. I'll give you the means to identify the traitors. Eliminate enough of them to prove your loyalty. Then return to Inquisitor Arzanen. 
I'll be watching your progress with great interest. Go now. See that the Emperor's will be done. I watched you deal with those traitors. Well done. That was an impressive display of loyalty. Take this reward as a token of the Emperor's favor. And wear this badge. It marks you as a defender of our empire. Stay vigilant. Our enemies lurk where you least expect them. <laughs> 